Well, they call them digital divas. Now, if you're not sure exactly what that means, you're not alone. But we'll show you so you can hang with the cool kids, too. Shots. You shoot it, we'll share it. When you see bad weather happening, shoot it and send it to MyFoxLA.com. Make your shots part of the story with Fox Shots. Made for a good news story. Well, you know Lady Gaga, she's a flesh and blood diva. <laughs> but tonight, another diva sold out the Nokia Theater in downtown L.A. She's not real, though. She's a digital diva. Trisha Takasugi is live outside the Hatsune Miku show. Did I pronounce that right? Hatsune Miku. That's right. Well, Susan, it was a bit of a bizarre experience, but I got to tell you, it had all of the thrills and excitement of a top rock concert. But it was the star tonight that was a little different. Not even human. A simply a uh, computer-generated hologram. That pop diva, her name, she is known here to her fans as Miku. Thousands of anime fans lined up to see Miku, an animated Japanese pop star. I can't wait. When I first uh, heard that she was going to debut in Japan or in, in the U.S., I was... I was like, well, I gotta be there. With a dozen human musicians playing backup, the digital diva came to life on the Nokia stage in her U.S. debut concert to the delight of her fans. Actually, I think it's, we're more excited to see a hologram than the real person. You came all the way from Canada just for this? Uh-huh. Because it's very rare to have a Miku concert in, uh, near us. Hatsune Miku is not a real person, nor is she based on one. Simply a computer-generated hologram along with a digital voice. But none of that matters to her fans. You, you just want to experience it. Like an actual concert like atmosphere while watching a, a hologram. And imagine that she really is real and she really is there. There were lots of human gals trying their best to impersonate the digital pop star. Really big fan of her. <laughs> and uh, she's really pretty. I'm not human, and, but she's a great singer. <laughs> I feel like she's the idol or something, although she's not an actual person. The tiny holographic Miku didn't disappoint her many fans. She looks like a real person. Like, it's kind of cool. I don't know. She dances really cool. Back here live, you can see these are some of the anime fans who were attending the an Anime Expo at the L.A. Convention. And they were uh, part of those who were interested in this big concert tonight. It was a huge hit. It was actually sold out. And again, this was the U.S. debut for the animated character, Miku. Reporting live in L.A. Live, I'm Trisha Takasugi, Fox 11 News. Are we getting this? I completely get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. You're a big anime fan, I, yeah. I take it. Oh, actually, I was there yesterday doing the, uh, a story on the, the NBA lockout at outside Staples and talking to all those fans. It's, it's huge. You were doing a story about the NBA lockout, but then you interviewed. Well, because they were there. Cause it was I know all they were there, but yeah. clearly that. I was asking about basketball. <laughs> As you might imagine, uh, they, they never really puzzled. followed the NBA too closely. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Phil. Up next, speaking of which, speaking of sports, game two of the Freeway Series in Anaheim Plus. <laughs> The performance is live, but the performer is not. She is the world's only digital diva, Hatsune Miku. And the crowd downtown, they're loving it. It is a sold-out concert at the Nokia Theater. Yeah, thousands of wildly costumed fans are dancing to the sound of a performer whose image and voice, as you just saw, came from a computer. Let's go live to Dave Meekum in downtown L.A. He's actually there. Dave is not a hologram. He's yeah. the real deal. And actually, no, I'm the real deal. And actually, we have. Oh, see the gal in the blue. Where'd she go? Oh, wait, no. Oh, I think I lost her. Hey, you, yeah, over here. Come over here. We want to take a look at you. So, no, this is the character we're talking about, right? Yes, Hatsune Miku. No! Okay, so, okay, say it again. Hatsune Miku. And then what's her deal? It's the blue hair, right? What's her what? It's the blue hair, right? Yeah, of course, teal hair. Yeah, well, thank you very much. We're going to get into the story a little bit. we got somebody, uh, I don't know who this guy is behind you, but uh, yeah, take a look at what we saw earlier. The ultra cute pop star or the girl who can do anything, two versions offered by diehard fans. What a stateside debut, the Nokia packed and a pigtail diva named Hatsune Miku making a splash. She's wonderful, amazing. You can tell that while it's synthesized, she has a sort of pitch that can't be reached. She 
she's just 16 years old. We're told, and no, not exactly the girl next door, at least not for most of us. Each character is represented by, obviously, a dancing hologram. So what they do is they have eight projectors raised above the stage that project light down onto a what I believe to be a clear, some sort of clear plastic or clear glass screen that creates a 3D effect on stage that makes it look as if these virtual characters are singing and dancing to the music. This weekend's anime and manga convention at the LA Convention Center is the backdrop. No doubt these are Miku's people. So you can't accuse her of lip syncing. We understand that her entourage alone, 150 real people, and then a fan base into the millions, uh, quite a time here. The big anime expo, the backdrop, uh, what a sight. We'll send it back to you in Hollywood. Yeah, none of the drama that comes with Amy Winehouse. Uh, or Britney Spears. Yeah.